So how you, how you mesh them is you, you loosen your uh, three bolts to hold this bracket to mm -hmm. the side frame. Okay, and then when there's no warp on here and there's no pressure on this, see there is movement in here, right? Gotcha. Uh, there has to be some kind of movement. It can't, it can't have a perfect fit. So, um, so what you do is you just put pressure on this to seat it in the bottom of this radius, uh -huh. right? And then you just take your, what I did, was I just take a piece of paper and I put it between those two gears and then um, with the bolts loose, pull it up with this finger. Okay. Right? Pull it in there tight. Uh -huh. And then, um, then at that point, then you can take a, a, a wrench and tighten up one of the bolts here just to hold it okay. in place. And then, then you can just let go. And so what three bolts are we loosening? Um, oh, just oh, those ones? Yeah, there's three in there. So you get to those by pulling the pins. Okay. Take this out of here. Gotcha. Okay. And then, then you just loosen these three. Okay, let me just show a quick video of which bolts we're going to be okay. loosening. So it's going to be these three. Um, the, the thing that's missing off of this one was there's no cover on there. Right? Oh, sure. So that's okay. But so, yeah. But well, but it's these three bolts that we're gonna loosen. That's up. correct. Okay, just so we can wiggle that or okay, adjust. Yeah, that. so it's adjustable. Gotcha. All right. So I will do this. I'll just loosen that a little bit. Loosen that a little bit, and then of course this one is behind there. So yeah, I'm gonna open in right. What size bolts are these? Seven sixteen. Seven sixteen. Yeah. Seven sixteen wrench. Right. Quarter twenty bolt. Okay, so now that's loose and adjustable. Okay. So, so then from this point, I will take the beam and set it in here like that. Not tight yet. And then we'll take a piece of paper. And You're just gonna put it between those gears. Got it. And then And this is just the standard like sheet of paper, like a yeah, college ruled paper or yep. this is like a note yep. paper. Yeah, and and you know, of course, there's a margin in there. You can it, uh, this this feels a little thin, um, but typical notebook paper is like three thousandths, uh -huh. you know. And so you, all you want is an air gap in there. You just don't want the two surfaces gotcha. forced on each other, okay. right? Okay. So take that to the bottom of the radius, right, mm -hmm. like that. Pull this up with your other hand. Okay. Of course, you free hand. And just I just want to quickly show the bottom of the radius means that we are getting the beam all the way into the back of the slot. Correct. So it's just pushed all the way in that's that, correct. And that cut right there. That's correct. Okay. Okay, so push that in there. Um, and I'll do this like this. Pull that up. And then so you're just kind of holding them together with your thumb and Yeah, and I'm pushing the pushing the beam down, holding them together, holding them together with my thumb and finger. And, and I just want to tighten that one like that. So just squeezing it all together. Kind yep. Of. Okay. And then I'll just take the beam out. And tighten up the other two. Okay. So what we did is we just basically put the mount for the motor in the correct position. That's correct. Okay. Okay. And then and that's, that's all there is to the adjustment. So, and then we just know that the beam now in its furthest back position in that slot will be in the correct position relative to the motor. Yes. Gear. Okay. And then don't forget to tighten the top one also. I didn't so, do that. So tighten all of your bolts back yeah. up, all three of them for yeah. the mount, the motor mount. Yeah. Okay. And that's it. That's it. Okay. Excellent. <laughs>